guess who's back? Me! For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Jamel. Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome to my channel. And welcome back those of you um, who've been waiting like a year and some for me to make new videos. Uh, that's a while. I'm sorry. I'm excited to be back. I'm just, yeah, I'm really excited to be back to just be cooking, creating, and feeling inspired again because I haven't for a while and that's always just really nice to have. And yeah, so in today's video, I will be celebrating two things. Not only my return, but the return of cuddle weather, comfort foods, and all things spoopy. Yes, fall. In celebration, I will be giving you guys my recipe for the best, the ultimate, baked vegan mac and cheese and yes it tastes like the real thing i really hope you guys enjoy this video and i hope this is enough of an apology or just a welcome back and yeah <laughs> words are hard okay let's just get to the recipe transition here <laughs> first you'll need to boil two to three cups of pasta and then set that aside And then you need to steam half a head of cauliflower and then add that to a blender. To the blender you'll also be adding two cups of plant-based milk, tapioca starch, salt, black pepper, nutritional yeast, garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne, ground mustard powder, and then you blend it all together until it's all velvety smooth. In a separate pan, saute three cloves of garlic in some olive oil and add two cups of breadcrumbs and coat them lightly until they're golden brown. Once you've toasted your breadcrumbs, add parsley and chives for extra flavor. And that's that! Just set this aside and we'll be using this for garnish later. Add the sauce that we made earlier to a pan and let this simmer and bubble through to make sure that the tapioca starch cooks and thickens the sauce. And then just add half um, a block of your favorite vegan mozzarella cheese and then your favorite vegan cheddar cheese. First I used Chow's Creamy Original and then I used Follow Your Heart, but I definitely recommend just using Chow's Tomato Cayenne because Follow Your Heart was just bleh. Make sure to taste the sauce as you go because you might need to season like I did here. I added more nooch, garlic, onion, and mustard powder. Add two heaping tablespoons of tomato paste. This is gonna give that umami and tanginess that we all love from cheese, and it might make it a little fluorescent orange, but the flavor's on point, trust me. And for even more decadence, I add some more cheese so that when this bakes, they create little pockets of ooey gooey cheese, and it's just great, just trust me and do it. Topping it off with some more cheese is totally optional. If not, skip this step and bake this for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Top it off with breadcrumbs and bake it for another 15 minutes. And here you have a masterpiece. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me some love. Thank you so much for watching.